What is going on guys? Welcome back to the Daddy Jeep Garage. If you guys are new here, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe right now, get it out of the way. Subscribing really helps the channel grow. Even you people that have been hanging out for a long time watching, hit that subscribe button. It really helps the channel. So today we're going to do a video that I wasn't going to do. You know, they, whoever they are, say not to diversify your channel, to stick with what you do. So what is it that I do? I build cool Jeeps. I play with them in the rocks. I do things outside. So this video, this is exactly what I do, just on a smaller scale. We have here a one-tenth scale Jeep YJ. So that's what I do. My son and I started playing with these RC cars and we used to do some competitions. Nothing, we weren't real competitive, we were kind of low budget, just did it to have a good time and I still want to do that. Having fun is what it's all about. I don't really care to win I and mean, I'm a little bit competitive but I'd rather have a good time than get all hung out, get all hung up on being the best. I don't care, I'm just doing it to have a good time. So the original Jeep that I built, same chassis but I built this body all out of 3 16th brake line steel siding, steel cowl. This thing weighs a couple pounds by itself. What I'm building now in order to be more competitive is a what they call a hard body. So this body is all styrene. So this weighs probably less than my beer. Oh, definitely less than my beer. So this thing weighs six or eight ounces. So it's, it's saving a ton of weight, which in turn is gonna be easier on my drivetrain components easier on my steering, and it's gonna give me a little more power with the drivetrain that I currently have. So I have a Holmes Hobbies, kind of a budget motor. I mean, it's a good brushed motor. I have a Holmes, Holmes ESC, and basically it's, it's a budget build like everything else that I do. I don't have a lot of money, so I work with what I have, build it to the best of my ability within the budget that I have defined. And the budget for this is not very much. I don't even have, I don't even know. So this, this hard body, bought this thing, I don't know, six or eight years ago. We were going to rebuild my son's crawler with it. And he just kind of lost interest. We both kind of lost interest. Didn't really work on it. So now I'm finally working on this body. So what I've done is I've cut it all up. This is a Tamiya YJ body. It came with full doors, a hard top, uh, full fenders, the little side skirts, all that stuff. I cut it all off. I cut the fenders off. I actually dovetailed the rear, if you're not familiar with what that is. Instead of these bodies coming straight up like they should be, I cut some of the tailgate out and I bent in each side, used some heat so it would bend good. So I have a nice dove there, cut all the fenders off, put a big fender arch there, actually added some dents and some character to it. And this, this silver color is supposed to represent bare metal. So I'm gonna paint this, my paint isn't here yet, so you're gonna see that soon. Go ahead and leave a comment below if you think you know what color this is gonna be. This isn't typical for me. I'm going to go a little bit outside of what I normally do. So go ahead and comment. Let me know what you think we're going to do color wise. But I can't show you yet because it's all masked and I'm not unmasking it. But I built a full interior for this floors, bed, transmission tunnel, all that stuff out of styrene. Got a lot of work in this body. I think it turned out really nice. I uh, can't wait to put color on it. So aside from that, I've been dealing with some other issues with this. My steering has been terrible i burn up a decent servo probably operator error so then i put uh, i just robbed the red cat servo out of another car put it in there i killed that thing i've got track bar issues just a lot of steering problems that have really held me back in the comps so i bought again budget i bought this 35 kilogram uh what is the zoske servo off amazon i'll go ahead and leave a link down below for that and it is from all the reviews I saw on other YouTube channels, about the best servo you can buy when you're on a budget. Uh, this was 40 bucks. A good servo is 150 bucks. It's a week after Christmas. I don't have 150 bucks to spend. So this $40 servo is gonna be a huge upgrade over what I have. And I've also added a BEC. So that is a device that allows me to send full battery power to my receiver, which then sends it out to my devices, such as my servo. 
So it's gonna give me a lot more steering strength. So I'm really excited to get that done and see how much better this thing performs. And I also have to figure out how to build a better track bar mount. So I have a chassis mounted servo because I wanted it to be real, as realistic as possible. So with a chassis mounted servo, you need a track bar to help align it. I have a three link front suspension. So that track bar is important and I've been not happy with that design. So we're gonna revisit that. And then as far as chassis mods, that's about all we're gonna do right now. We are gonna do some tube work though. This thing needs a roll cage. It needs some, uh, some fender guards and it needs sliders. Sliders are scale points. And uh, it's all gonna be based off of a grill guard and stinger because again, stingers are, are scale points as well. So for that, we're using this solid aluminum 3 16 rod. Again, super lightweight, which is kind of the goal for this. I want to cut weight at least up high. I might still add weight to the axles because low weight is good, but I want to cut as much weight up high as I can. So plastic and aluminum are the tools we're going to use. If you look at the body, it's not perfect because I don't want it perfect. This is a rock crawler. I mean, I could spend a lot more time sanding. I could get this thing really polished up and put a really nice paint job on it but it's just gonna get destroyed anyway. So I want a reasonably nice paint job on it. And again, I've done the silver paint as a base because I'm gonna try to recreate some scratches in a nice paint job is what I'm trying to go for. So when I put my final color on here, while it's still wet, I'm gonna try to create scratches in the areas where I put the dents, scratches that are exposed to this bare metal. So I'm pretty excited to do that. I've been trying to find some other videos of where people have done that kind of paint work, but I haven't found it yet. So we'll see how long this video ends up. That, that could even be a separate video. I might do a whole video series on this build. But for right now, I just kind of want to get an overview of what this thing is. So what is this thing? This thing started life as an axial wraith. It does look, doesn't look anything like an axial wraith anymore, which was kind of part of my design. I bought the wraith, again, for budget purposes. I bought a used wraith, so I had axles, I had electronics. I had a bunch of good parts to start with. Most of that is gone now. I've custom built everything. All my suspension is custom built. Built my own links. Built my own chassis. Chassis is steel, again, heavy, but it's what I'm comfortable working with. That may change in the future, but for now I'm going to leave the steel chassis. But uh, it's class three for Sorka rules. So this is the top end of the scale rock crawling competition. So I, I have leeway, I can do a lot of stuff with this. So for now, it's gonna be just drag axle. On my tires, I'm running the 2.2 uh, the wheels and a 5.75 inch pit bull growler, but I've modified them. I've cut every other lug out of the outside edges to get some more bite and it really softened the outside of the tire a lot. And then I just cut every other center lug out of the inner part of the tire. I'll zoom in here and show you that in a minute. So now with a close-up, you can see where I've cut every other line of treads out of these tires. So there's a pretty good lip there. They're going to bite and give me a lot more traction. And then if you go to the inside edge, you can see I just cut the center lug out of every other line there as well. I wanted to keep a little more rigidity than the inside edge of the tire. Outside is super soft, so I wanted to add a little bit of strength there in the middle. So this already, I did this before the last comp, and it improved the grip of these tires a ton. It really helped them grab the rocks. Uh, my steering still held me back. I had some other issues, but the tires worked fantastic. So I've cut a little bit more, made them look better. I bought these little uh, flush cut wire crippers. Just bought them at Harbor Freight. They're three or four bucks. They do a much nicer job of getting getting that cut down nice and low. So here it is, everything is torn down. This is the chassis that I built all out of steel. It's got a lot of weight to it, but it's good down low weight, so I think it's okay. We just cleaned it up a little bit, put a fresh coat of black paint on it. Now we just need to put all this pile back together. Thanks for watching guys. Again, I know this is a little bit different, but go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know if you guys are playing with these RC trucks too. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.